Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We're gonna to be working on an area that needs some attention that's starting to wash beside our driveway. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna use our scrape blade here. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna dig in we're gonna make a ditch. This is the first time I've done this, so it's gonna be a little bit of a learning experience. We'll have a little bit of fun together and hopefully do a good job. I've got the seed drill here on the farm right now and we're going to be drilling down some grass seed on all the land that we've just cleared and we'll have that video coming up shortly too. But for now, while I've got the seed drill, I might as well tear the land up a little bit so I can drill it back down. So let's go have some fun working with the tractor here. So like I said guys, I haven't done this before, but I've used the tractor to scrape up the driveway and to help give it a good crown so I can't see where it'd be too much of a difference in scraping up the side of the driveway and making a good ditch so we're gonna try out our scrape blade here this is a Woods brand scrape blade and we got our John Deere 5065 tractor here so we're just gonna give it a shot I'm gonna adjust the blade to where it digs in and sinks down on one side and try to pull the soil up first so we'll take you down here and show you a little bit of what we're going to do before we start doing it but I'm going to dig into the soil try to pull it up away from the driveway and actually make a nice ditch where the driveway will drain properly and our gravel won't wash away washing is a big problem when you live on a slope like this so let's get busy first thing I'm doing is I'm rotating my blade 180 degrees and I had the blade basically facing backwards and now it's no longer facing backwards. We also have to figure out the offset that we want. So this wood's scrape blade has several adjustments and we're gonna tip it up this way and we want the blade to dig in. So we want it pointed slightly forward and tip down that way. So I'm gonna move it this way. Drop my pins in. And the next adjuster is this arm right here. So we'll pull the pin out of the arm, pop that up, and we'll slide the entire thing over this way. And we want a good gouge here. We don't want to take too much land out, so we'll put it on like the second setting, just to offset barely. Need to put my gloves on so I don't pinch my hands. These things are bad about pinching you. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the blade by pulling this pin right here, I'll show you. So we'll pull this upper pin right here and lift up on it a little bit and we're gonna tilt it down, just like that. Okay. Whew, that's a little too sharp of an angle. And that's pretty much flat. And yeah, we'll take it a sharp angle. Now all this will start to make sense to you here in just a minute when we get down here to the spot where we're working, but you can see that the blade is tilted and pulled in a little bit to where we can basically get a good bite on the land. Now I'll probably have to make adjustments as we go, because like I said, it's the first time I'm doing this, so you're gonna learn a little bit here. It's gonna be fun. Got Mrs. Stony Ridge over here picking weeds in the garden out here, the little flower garden we have behind the house. I don't think she noticed me. Hey, Mrs. Stony Ridge. <laughs> Let's go down here and get busy. Now flying high above us is our friend Butch who flies that motorized parachute that crashed. I'll post a link to the video right here. He crashed in our field over here while he was trying to take off. He was okay, everything was okay, but it made a little boo-boo. We'll try to zoom in on him real quick. There's our friend Butch. He'll probably come down a little closer if he sees me out working. Folks, if you like what you're seeing here, be sure right now, pound that like button, just boom, just hit it. It takes a click, it's very simple. And it helps promote the channel and it helps promote our videos out on YouTube. So click that like button, okay? So let's talk about the problem that we have. We have a wonderful ditch right here, but as you go down further down the driveway, and we'll walk down here together, as we go down here further, the ditch veers off and goes into the driveway for just a little segment of the driveway right here. And this is what we've got to address because it's washing our gravel down the hill. And I'll turn the camera around here. So you can see right here, it kind of goes on the edge of the driveway. So what we want to do is put a ditch right there. So we're going to follow the lay of the land here all the way down through. I'll get you a better shot of it down low, okay? So if you look, we're across the road here and you can see there's a nice little valley right here, okay, for the water to go down. 
And if we go on the other side of the road, there's the dogs. If we're on the other side, that nice little valley goes down right through here. And then when we, we turn around, it goes straight down through there and then whoop, out. So that's what we gotta fix. That is the problem. First, let me tell you my thought process. I want the ditch to be right here, about oh, 14 inches away from the driveway. That's about where it is up this way and that's about where it is down this way and you can see it going down through there. So basically, I wanna get down at the bottom of the hill and start coming up and figure out where my ditch is, ride next to the driveway on the edge and slowly drop my blade down into this area right here and hopefully that will address the problem. I haven't done this before. So this will be a learning experience for all of us. I'll put it in a lower gear and go fairly slow and just try not to dig a whole lot with each stroke. Okay guys, so this is the ditch that we've cut and it only took three passes and basically I progressively worked my way down in here. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but I have hearing protection in and I just want to protect my ears. But you can see it's made a nice dirt pile right here. So what we'll do, we also want this side to progressively roll over that way and this side to be smoothed out over the hill so we'll adjust our blade and come up the driveway this way and throw the dirt that way. Then we'll turn the blade around again, pull more dirt back up this way, and then we'll drag it nice and smooth and level so that there's a nice roll in for mowing and a nice roll out for mowing. And then when we get the seed drill, we'll come over here and drill this area down with grass seed. And we'll show you the seed drill in a future vlog. Uh, I'll also post a link right here to the vlog where we were using the seed drill. It explains to you how it works, everything like that. But if you stay tuned in the next couple days, you'll see we're seeding over here and we'll show you how all that works. Lots of work going on on the farm here, so pretty cool. All right, let's get busy. Good dogs. So I'm gonna have to do this ditch in a specific order if I'm gonna be up here next to the driveway because I don't wanna pull a lot of dirt up onto the driveway. I don't wanna pull any dirt up onto the driveway. So I'm gonna have to adjust my blade to reflect that. Right now the blade is designed to grab and pull. It's pulling this way, okay? I need it to grab and pull that way. So we'll swing the blade around and we'll drop it in right here and push this dirt up next to the driveway back over in our hole and then we'll come back and pull that dirt out of the hole and pull it over here. It's gonna be interesting. I hope I don't mess it up. I think that'll do it. Guys, a quick tractor disclaimer for you. I'm not a tractor pro. I don't claim to be a tractor pro. If you have some good advice on how to do this stuff, please post a comment down there. Don't leave condescending comments because I'll just delete them and you might as well not because you're wasting your time. If you want to help and you're smart and you know this stuff, tell me you're smart and teach me something. All right? I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along. Yeah. Okay, now we've cut up to the edge of the driveway and it's a little bit more manageable. It even looks really nice right through there. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do is we gotta deal with this pile of dirt. So we'll slightly adjust the blade to pull this smooth 
and pull this dirt over into here and hopefully we'll be able to mow it a whole lot easier now and we'll take our seed drill and we'll drill down seed and probably roll out a bale of hay on this area so it doesn't wash very much right away but I think it's going to look really nice. I was really concerned about this and when I hired the bulldozer crew they cleaned this whole area off and there was a huge embankment. So there was a huge embankment about five feet tall right here and probably five or six feet tall right here and we knew we'd have to do a little bit of dress up work. So this is the dress up work. Pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so we're close to our last step and what we're going to do is we'll run the tractor up and down through here to help smooth the dips out. We'll just use the weight of the tractor on this soft soil and we're going to take the blade and just smooth this out all the way up through there and then we'll have our ditch cut. Pretty cool how it all worked out. I'm pretty happy with everything so we'll just keep on working here and I just want to thank you guys a whole lot for watching the Stony Ridge Farmer today and hope you learned a little something. Hope you learned how to cut a ditch for your driveway so your driveway doesn't wash. Pretty cool, pretty simple. A lot more simple than I would have thought. Thanks a lot guys, we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farmer. Don't forget to click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and watch our farm grow. It's gonna be a beautiful place. Thank you, see you next time. In the land of the free and the home of the brave I'm proud of who I am Ooh.